Lopes Academy fills a particular need after people graduate from high school, and then what? There's so many programs available and funding available for K through 12, but there isn't after high school. So Don Cardin, who developed this program, he came to me about this program about helping these young men and women uh, trying to get a certificate at Grand Canyon, and these special folks uh, needed a place where they could go and have the opportunity. Here's another reason for us to fight for the community to make sure these young superstars get an opportunity to get a great education. And if you saw the folks I saw in the course today, pleasure of mine, just, it just rose my spirit big time to see that we were helping individuals like that. We wanted to uh, affect the lives of people that really had nobody understand them. They were just another special population. They're special needs kids. They were too um, functional to be able to get a lot of state support and a lot of programs uh, that were more institutional in terms of their housing and everything. And yet they weren't as functional as they needed to be to live independently. And they were in that kind of in-between area. We're going to create something that is functionally true. We're going to understand the aptitudes of the kids, what their joys are, what their capacities are. We're going to have Lopes buddies to come alongside them and help them through. What we're trying to do is not just set up Grand Canyon, but to set up a model that literally, hopefully, could go throughout the world eventually. And I want to be old enough to understand that if you've learned anything, you've learned that this world won't love you back, but we have this incredible opportunity to love the world. And this is just a small way Kim and I are trying to, to do that for these kids that we so love. My dad's the one who built the Lopes Academy and I'm loving it. My favorite thing at Lopes Academy, like playing sports. I feel what's important about the buddy system or even what's special is the fact that we do create actual like friendships. It's not just like we come in two days a week and we're just there to work with them. My favorite part about being a buddy is uh, probably getting to hang out with them, going to chapel getting lunch every day and just seeing them grow. I think my top two would be going to chapel every Monday, hanging out with my, my buddy Bella, and seeing two of my favorite teachers. The most special part about it is getting to know Ray as a person. We do build these friendships with people. I text my buddy all the time. Like we're, I would say we're pretty close friends. I think that's really cool to have, especially on like a huge college campus that they're at. One, two, three, love's up!